Well, traders, uh, here's my account. Um, I did not have a good start today. I actually had quite a bad start today. You can see the list of my losers here. Apple is down 14 grand. Actually started with a good trade in Apple, but then uh, took a second trade and uh, the market changed direction and came down. I'm going to talk about the market really soon. And uh, Tesla trade, my first trade was a disaster. My second trade was a winner, but still finished in red. Uh, MIC was wrong. Boeing was very nice trade zm was amazing and nvidia was quite okay so i'm gonna finish up 1700 dollars uh, which is an okay day i mean it's green but if you take a look at the numbers here you can see that i could have easily been down quite a bit i'm going to talk about market direction here because i think the market direction is the key to everything i did today and I did notice that a lot of you guys are not really giving good attention to what's happening with the S&P 500. So let's talk about market attention, uh, market direction right now. So take a look at the S&P 500 because I think uh, it's very important uh, that you realize what you should or you shouldn't do when you watch uh, the S&P 500. Uh, first, you need to remember that, uh, you know what, let me start with the daily. I'll start with the daily. If you take a look at the daily of the S&P 500, you can see the recent coronavirus crash all the way from the top to the bottom here. And then the pullback that we experienced in the last two weeks. And uh, we came down a bit, approximately to the middle of the pullback range. <clears throat> and now comes a big question. Look at this 255 SPY area. If we're going to move over that, then it looks like... Uh, quite a good long opportunity although i did mention that usually when we have great crashes like this it usually does not end up in one big pullback you usually expect a second big low and i don't know if we're going to see that or not but uh, technically speaking we should so be prepared to a new low um and if it does come, and, and again, we're going to trade the market as it comes. If it moves higher, we're going to join the market. If it comes down, we're going to join the market. Just be prepared for another new low. So the two interesting points on the daily now is to watch if it moves over 255. That should be interesting. Or it comes down under this uh, 244 area. And that should be the point where we should take our shorts very seriously again. And uh, like, you know, all in shorts, that should happen somewhere around here, 244. And I think the next week is going to be a very, very important week uh, to notice whether we do come under this or we move over this 255 area. That should be very, very interesting. Now, um, having said that, let's take a look at uh, the intraday again. We did have a strong upside day yesterday. And this is quite understood that we're going to pull back down a bit at the day that follows. Right now, the S&P is down 0.85%. That's a very small pullback, really. And that's an okay small pullback compared to what we did yesterday. So we moved up yesterday, and therefore, the market could stop right here and uh, just play around this area and maybe even come up. You know, it is a Friday today. We need to remember that. So if you put everything together, I don't trust the market to continue lower. If I would have trusted the market to continue lower, I would have kept my Tesla short, my Boeing short. I will not reduce my ZM short and my NVIDIA short. And I would just keep riding to the downside, hoping that the market is going to continue. But uh, it's just a small pullback so far. And uh, usually, when you know, when, uh, on, on, a regular, on regular times when we trade, this is not a small pullback. 1% uh, down, like, wow, we've got the market down 1%. It's not. It's, 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 it's times which are totally different, and therefore, 1% uh, is like nothing. So, and it is a Friday, so the market could stop here. So, I don't trust the market to continue. So, why did I take my shorts earlier? Take a look at the market here. We started, uh, we started here at a small 0.4% uh, gap down, immediately moved up and closed the gap, continued to move higher, came down. At this point, you can think that we could definitely continue the uptrend, uptrend especially because yesterday's momentum was higher. And then we came up a bit and we failed. At that point, I had several losing trades. I could think 
that the market is going to continue to a new high. I was long a few, a few stocks and uh, at that point, uh, for example, my Tesla long didn't work out and that's because the market failed. And when the market failed and you could see that it's approaching the lows, in this red candle here, we could assume that it's likely for the market to move lower. That was the point where we started taking some shots. So we did take some shots when we thought the market is about to break down under the lows, and it did. And then it pulled back up. But since it came under the lows, we had to trust it to continue under the lows, and we did. And we continued trending. That was the point approximately when we took the ZM short and so on. So the zoom short and video short came in here. Uh, Tesla continued its downtrend. We did have a, uh, a small winner in Tesla. And Boeing continued to go, to go down. But now I do ask myself whether I could trust the market to continue lower. And my answer is no. Uh, we are now after one and a half hour. We're getting close to lunchtime, which means we do not expect big moves on lunchtime. Uh, we did have a low here, which is uh, kind of interesting support from yesterday. You can see it here and here. And again, we did have a strong upside day. So everything lets me believe that the chance for us to see a new low today is not that great. Well, if the market does move higher and does move to a new low, for example, moves under 249 later, this could be a good opportunity to short, definitely. But um, unless it does that, maybe you should look for longs. Maybe you should just stay away from trading for uh, a while now. I'm very, very happy to finish in green. I was down quite a bit today and I managed with some good trades to come back to green territory because I was expecting the market to go under the lows and I was right about it. But right now, I don't have the same expectation. I don't know where the market's going. In my opinion, to continue trusting the market to continue its downtrend would be um, speculation. I mean, we always speculate here, but this speculation, in my opinion, is not as good as the one as a chance that we had earlier. Well, I don't know. We'll see what's coming next. If the market does come under the lows and we're going to have a big down day, then you could uh, stay around and have some interesting trades uh, later. But right now, I don't trust it to do so. So the only thing I've got riding right now is uh, 100 shares in NVIDIA. If it's going to continue coming down, then that's fine. If not, I'll be very, very happy with a uh, $1,500 uh, dollar day which is approximately what I have right now so with that uh, and with um, a great week that we had we did have a great week I hope uh, you guys had uh, the same as I did so I'll finish my trading session here for today and for the week and I wish you all a great weekend uh, be careful stay home as much as you can um, and uh, keep safe and um, Let's meet next week and uh, continue our great times in this uh, uh, so far very good coronavirus breakdown. I hate uh, what it does to the economy. I hate what it does to the health of a lot of people. But as traders, it is our uh, time to enjoy this market. It's our opportunity. And uh, so far, we're enjoying it very nicely. So thank you all. Thank you for being with us, uh, you guys on YouTube too. I want to thank you for following us. If you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would be very nice. So I'll see you all next week. Bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.